Welcome back, everyone. We are back after a day off. Well, you had the day off. I would say that the puppies did not. Yesterday, they went to the vet for their first set of immunizations and their first checkup at the vet, which is very important. Um, vets are still in business for essential things like, like little puppy vet vaccinations. Mo, Mo. So um, the puppies went to the vet, so they learned a lot of things yesterday. They went for a car ride, all six of them in a crate in the back of my car. They went up and over the mountain since the Route 34 pass is closed. Then they went to the vet and I put them in a, an X-Pen on the parking lot and the uh, text from Valley Road Hospital came out and took them in. So what was new about that? They were new people. The techs were wearing masks. Then they went in and met a lot, several new people without me around or anyone that they knew. They met the vet. So they had a big day. Then they got their shots. They got chipped. So their little um, identification chips they now have so that if they run away, we can find them or ID them. So they had a big day today. And then they were really tired yesterday afternoon because the shots are, they're a lot for their little systems. So they'll go back in two or three weeks for another set. So right now the pups are outside enjoying the, the grass and they had a nice nap out there. And now I'm going to bring them in and put them in their nice new big pen here in the garage. They have new digs. Memo. So you walk out there. start checking things out in their new digs today. Every day it gets rearranged because I scrub the floor every morning. Hey kids! So again, watch, watch their body language. This is week six. They're six weeks old. They're becoming, what well, we hope, our confident little dogs. And I think this litter is very confident, and I think it goes back to what a breeding program can do. Of course, this is what a guide dog needs to do a lot. And a service dog does also, but a guide dog really needs to be a confident dog. I'm going to take care of you before I walk you down the street. So remember that Mo is, is the result of 100 years of breeding to make a confident dog, and I think we're seeing it here. We are still having troubles with the potty, and they don't quite understand it. But they'll figure it out someday, won't you kids? Yes. So this week is the week that they're growing. Remember, their brains are still learning. And if you notice that they, you can really see it now that they are curious. They're curious and they want to explore the world. And that's what a six week old puppy does, which is great. But also remember, you don't want to overdo it and scare them. And set up a scenario that will 
upset the puppy for the rest of his life. Right, puppies? They've also gotten very active, as you can see. They like to run around. And they're, we still have lots of surfaces here for them to explore and walk on. We have, we have our swinging bridge here, courtesy from Bill's shop. And it has some funny movement on it. And the puppies really, hmm, they just walk on it. Okay, puppies, come on here, come on around. That's it. And again, this is more surfaces, it's moving. It's all senses for them to, to take in and be comfortable with. I'd say these puppies are comfortable with their little swaying bridge. Right, kids? What else are we learning today? We're really checking things out. Oh, oh, oh. Good, Freedom. He's almost going to use the potty. Good boy. Freedom, get busy. Get busy. That's the cue for the dogs to learn. So we just start saying it about five million times. Get busy. Get busy. Good puppy. Get busy. Get busy. So they'll learn to associate hearing that with what they're doing. And then it becomes a cue to them so that when you ask them to get busy, they will. So that was a good puppy. We take little babies. Right, kids? Yes. All right. So what else have they been learning? All kinds of things, right? And as we said, they have not learned to use the litter box to pee. But they will. And walking is not easy. Now let's not forget, speaking of walking, don't forget the high mark walk. Walk for SSD. And this week, do a chalk drawing. Either on a piece of paper like this or on the sidewalk. Take a picture of it with yourself and post it. Hashtag walk for SSD. First you have to sign up. For the walk. Remember it's virtual and you have until the end of June to take your walk. So get out there and start walking and drawing. Now there will be prizes for, for the uh, entries. And everything's on SusquehannaServiceDogs.org where you can sign up and all the information. You're going to do your posting on the SSD events page and once you're on the events page you click on the discussion to add your photo. It's a little bit different than Facebook, but it's the same idea because it is a section, a part of Facebook. All right. So, again, you're watching these puppies and they're really curious. They're saying to Bill, what are you doing? What's that thing? They really haven't shown this. Actually, I don't know that they showed this even two days ago, this interest in what's going on around them. So remember our goal right now is to build confidence and to let them start having control of themselves and their lives. We want to encourage this curiosity, and of course we don't want to scare them. And I'm going to use the word fear. Are they fearful? Not really. But actually, I'm calling it fear and worry, actually common sense. They're learning now, there's some common sense. I don't jump off of something, I look at it first, and then jump off of it. So they're, they're developing confidence, they're developing common sense, they're developing... Uh-oh, he just figured it out. Over here. These are the greatest toys. This is a planet dog toy. And he just knocked it over and the treats fall out. So we're putting things in here that allow them to think. I don't think they quite figured out the connection between turning it over and treats falling out. It was just happened that he turned it over, but we'll get it pretty soon. All right, where is Miss Faith? Puppy, puppy. Here is Miss Faith. Okay, now we're going to go over, over on this side over here, and see how Miss Faith is doing. With her learning. What do you think? Okay. Now remember, this is a different space that we're doing.
bring this in. So she might be a little rough at the beginning. Faith, puppy, puppy. So we're going to do a warm up here. Click, treat, click, treat. And this is something really important for the dogs to learn. I get into the habit of doing training always in one room. But you notice that we've done this in two, three places now. So that's the best thing for the dogs to learn how to, how to work in any environment. Okay, so she is warmed up. Okay, do a stand. Now I am adding a hand cue here, stand. I am adding a hand cue. It's really early, but I figure she can get used to seeing it so that it will become second nature so that when she sees this hand cue, it means for her to sit. Is she doing it on purpose right now? Not quite yet. But is she seeing it? Yes. Is she processing it? Yes. So we're going to continue with that sit for a few days. The next obvious one is a down, which is a lot harder than a sit for the puppy. Well, it's not hard for the puppy. It's hard for the human operator. So what about we do the targeting? I want her nose to touch my hand. That's called targeting. And the split second that it's touching, she's getting hearing the click. Now I'm putting my hand so close to her that she's just curious and she reaches out to smell it. So that she in the beginning, she doesn't really have the concept that she's doing something. But now, did you see her? She leaned a little bit. That's a good girl. And that was a lean. She's getting the, getting the idea. I'm going to ask you to move around. Now you could say she's really going for the smell of the dog food on my hand. Yeah, she probably is a little bit. But we'll fade that out pretty soon because I'm, she'll start to use dog kibble. Okay, so now, everybody at SSD, here we have, ta-da, a puppy-sized heel box. It just came out of the out of Bill's shop last night and it's gorgeous. So our goal here is for her to put her two front feet on the box. Puppy puppy. Should we give her a break? Puppy puppy. Probably should. Turn your little brain off for a second. All right. That was a second long break. Okay. So our goal is to get two feet on the box. What does she have to do first? She has to look at the box before she actually moves towards it. So I'm going to click that. She put her head down in the direction of it. I like that. Oh, there's a foot on there. That was by accident, but I don't care. Now this is where she's going to learn to make that clicker work. Right now she's going, I'm just looking at that was random, but we still clicked it because she needs to learn to stop staring at my treat hand, my clicker hand, my smelly finger, and she will get that. And this is what the puppies all learn to put their two feet on a box, a much bigger box, of course, and I missed a click because I'm standing here jabbering. One has to concentrate on this so that the, the puppies can learn how to heal, which means stand on your left side next to your hip. So the first step in learning heal is to put your two feet on a box and stand there. Here, puppy. 
So this takes a little while. And now she's licking puppy food off of it, but that's all right. She now knows box. This box is fun. Hey, right, little girl. So that's the start of learning a heel. And she'll get there. Sooner, we hope. Right, little girl? Uh oh, oh, we dropped the clicker. Ah, that's a good girl. Okay, now when you're done with your object, remember to always pick it up and get it out of sight. Okay, little girl? All right. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Right, little girl? Lunchtime. Yeah, oh, lunchtime? I always forget lunch. Okay, you want lunch? Okay. All right, put her back in the crate. I will set the table. Let's see if her manners have improved. Let's not, let's not hook too much here. Okay, we need a tablecloth. soaking but it's still we're going to have to start crunching on it table manners not big in the puppy's life at all I think they're starting to have to chew a little bit so it's not disappearing like it they had straws and they're not really working on their spin technique very well. Come on, kids. That's it. There we go. There we go. Start of a spin. We're getting there. So, with that fine dining, we will close today's session. Thanks for joining us, everyone. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.